Hello YTPC, this is Steve and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. Smoking my Vaughn pipe with some Capstan Blue. Um, this is the flake, not the ready run. Really like this pipe. I like the way it looks. I like the nice thick band on it. There's um, a line of pipes in this series. And uh, I need to find some more of them. I like it. I like it. I like the colors and all that. But this one's a, a good smoker. Usually get some moisture down into uh, the bend, but with the filter, it's not too big a deal. But that filter is always sopping wet. It's been a long while since I've had this capstan blue. I remember trying it and thinking, oh, it's okay. And then more latching onto the gold. But uh, right now it's tasting good. Extremely hot day for May here. I don't know how warm it is officially, but it's supposed to get up to like 93. Normally we only average about six or seven 90 degree days the entire year where I live so that's pretty surprising anywho shout out to Roland the dragon I think that's his channel name my grandpa's name is Roland He wanted to know what pipes we had that were lightweights, and he classified lightweight as 38 grams or lower. So I was kind of curious. I uh, never weighed my pipes. Never uh, paid much attention to that. Uh, when looking, I wouldn't have known what to say, how heavy my pipe was. So it was kind of interesting. Um, Especially to guess before you weighed them once you got an idea of how much they weighed. Some of them was pretty off. But it seemed like most of my pipes were between 45 and 55 grams. Which is not 38. I had two. I have two. And they were both given to me. Uh, pipes that were 38 grams or less. It's wonderful. Meerschaum. Billiard is given to me. It was just barely. It was like 36 or whatever. But it's pretty big. This is probably my biggest pipe, bowl-wise. Um, so you can still have uh, really big bowls that are feather lights. And then um, this pipe was given to me the Grand Duke for Dr. Gribbo uh, from a friend that was knowing I was looking for shorter smokes and I gotta say even this small bowl you pack flakes in there it's at least an hour at least an hour smoke um, so I kinda even wanna go like smaller but this one's 6 mil filtered and uh, that works all right you know I I do kind of like, uh, for whatever reason, when I'm smoking a lighter pipe to smoke uh, something that has topping on it. I don't know. feel like maybe with a lighter pipe I, I smoke lighter, like I sip more softly. I don't know. 
it's an interesting thought that I might behave uh, with my smoking characteristics differently depending on the weight of the pipe. Anyway, real nice uh, weather. Got to go to a band concert tonight. School's wrapping up. My uh, daughter is a way better student than I ever was. Um, she takes um, great pride in completing uh, work in what is expected in a timely manner. I hated school. Once I got to high school, I started trying. But before then, I wasn't going to try. And I just hated doing it. I think it was just the whole trying to memorize things. Remembering things for me is very, very difficult. Um, and I hated taking tests. Interesting thought of the idea of how well, how easy it is for you to learn something, you know, really dictates, you know, so much of uh, a life here. There was classes I was interested in the content, but it was too much work, so I'd just go do something else. <laughs> so I had a question for the other presenters of the YTPC that if you would like to answer in a video, that'd be great. If not, that's okay too. I was kind of... Uh, wondering about uh, people's perception of the YouTube pipe community before and after they started making videos and how that's changed or not changed. Um, I think it's uh, interesting um, thought process to go through what most of the viewers perceptions of the YTPC is versus uh, the presenters. Um, I guess me thinking back and some of this is hard to remember. I mean I kind of stumbled into the YTPC trying to figure out how to smoke a pipe had gotten this thing. I want, I'm a researcher type. I don't want to just wing it not and ruin things. And man, I was lucky enough that there was a lot of content out there to keep watching. And I just thought it was fascinating all these aspects of smoking a pipe. It's just it ended up being far more complicated than I ever thought it would be and also interesting and uh, I don't know I think I didn't realize the community aspect of it until I started subscribing to people and then uh, Mel Harris garbage man Piper said my name as a subscriber and I was like holy cow this guy just said my name on YouTube because I subscribed to him that's crazy because uh, consuming content was always just about gathering information you know it wasn't uh, about connecting with people and uh, I guess a couple times in the board game industry try to connect with some people. I go to a convention or something and they're there. I'll be like, oh, I like watching your stuff, you know.
but you didn't, I didn't think I would become friends with those people. And then I just started making videos. I was going to commit to it. Hey, I'm going to make a video uh, once a week or a year. Um, I just had to set a goal. Otherwise, I knew I, I would stop because, one, I was a new pipe smoker. So I didn't have any knowledge to impart on anyone. I've been smoking pipe on and off for a year. Uh, didn't know what I was doing, you know, to do reviews, tasting tobaccos, doing all this. I was still figuring it out. And um, I didn't know. I And that's kind of why I slapped the board game part onto my channel of smoking cardboard because I just figured I was going to do that. So, I figured I would end up doing some pipe smoking videos. Um, really trying to uh, take Mel Harris at his word of saying the more you, as much as you put into the community, you'll get out of the community. And I was like, you know, it sounds like something maybe I could do is make videos. Anywho, lo and behold, just started making videos, didn't really care. Tried to tell myself I didn't care about how many subscribers and comments I got. But I did see, you know, some people pop up and they would uh, get a bunch of subscribers, you know, just because someone mentioned their name and so it was kind of like oh well you know maybe if someone recognizes that I'm making videos they'll shout me out and I'll have subscribers people actually watching my videos now I could care less I mean I built these friendships rather than just awkwardly uh talking to the camera where now I'm talking to my friends and uh, I definitely see uh, the YTPC as uh, a community to participate in, give back, help, encourage, support. Uh, learn. I don't know. Well, with that, I'll let you all go. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and weekend. And, uh, yeah, so you get to enjoy smoke. See you later. Bye.